uh, mostly by some German mathematicians interested in solving equations numerically. All right, so what is uh, the better method? Our better slope? What should we look for in our better slope? Well, the simplest procedure is, once again, we're starting from there, and the Euler slope would be the same as the line element. So it, uh, the line element looks like this, and our yellow slope, uh, an, I'll still continue to call it an, goes like that and gets to here. OK, now if it were convex, if the curve were convex, this would be too low. And therefore, the next step would be, I'm going to draw this next step in pink. Well, uh, let's, no, let's continue in uh, here. Would be uh, going up like that. I'll call this bn just because it's the next step of Euler's method. It could be called an prime or something like that. But this will do. And now what you do is, let me put an arrow on it to indicate parallelness. Go back to the beginning. Draw this parallel to Bn. So here is Bn. Again, just a line of slope, that same slope. And now what you should use as the simplest improvement on Euler's method is take the average of these two, because that's more likely to hit the curve than An will, which is sure to be too low if the curve is convex. In other words, use this instead. Use that. So this is our better slope. OK, what will we call that slope? We don't have to call it anything. What would the equations for the method be? Well, xn plus 1 is gotten by adding the step size. So here's my step size, just as it was before. Just as it was before, the new thing is how to get the new value of y. So yn plus 1 should be the old yn plus h times not this crummy slope, a n, but the better, the pink slope. What's the formula for the pink slope? Well, let's do it in two steps. It's the average of a n and b n. Hey, but you didn't tell me, or I didn't tell you what b n was. So you now must tell the computer, oh yes, by the way, you remember that a n was what it always was. The interesting thing is, what is b n? Well, to get bn, bn is the slope of the line element at this new point. Now what am I going to call that new point? I don't want to call this y value yn plus 1, because that's, it's this up here that's going to be the yn plus 1. All this is is a temporary value used to make another calculation, which will then be combined with the previous calculations to get the right value. Therefore, give it a temporary name. That point, we'll call it, it's not going to be the final, the real yn plus 1. We'll call it yn plus 1 twiddles, yn plus 1 temporary. Uh, and what's the formula for it? Well, it's just going to be what the Euler formula, original Euler formula. It's going to be yn plus what you would have gotten if you had calculated. In other words, it's the point that the Euler method produced. Uh, but it's not finally the point that we won. Now, do I have to say anything else? Uh, yeah, I didn't tell the computer what bn was. OK, bn is the slope of the direction field at the point n plus 1. And the computer knows what that is. And this point, yn plus 1, temporary. So you make a temporary choice of this, calculate that number, and then go back and, as it were, correct that value to this value by using this better slope. Now, that's all there is to the method, except I didn't give you its name. Uh, well, it has three names, four names, in fact. Uh, which one shall I give you? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> OK. If you, the shortest name is Hoyne's method, <laughs> but nobody knows, pronounces that correctly. Uh, so it's Hoyne's method. Uh, it's called also the improved Euler method. It's called modified Euler. 
very expressive word. Modified Euler's method, and it's also called RK2. <laughs> I'm sure you'll like that name best. It has a Star Wars sort of sound to it. Uh, RK stands for Rungakutta, and the reason for the two is not that it uses two, well, it is that it uses two slopes, but the real reason for the two is that it, it is a second order method. So let's, that's the most important thing to put down about it. It's a second order method, whereas Euler's was only a first order method. So this is a, so Hoyne's method, or RK2, let's write it, that's the shortest thing to write, is a second order method, meaning that the error varies with the step size like some constant, it won't be the same as the constant for Euler's method, times h squared. That's a big saving because it now means that if you have the step size, you're going to decrease the error by a factor of one quarter. You will quarter the error. Now, you say, hey, great, why should anyone use anything else? Well, think a little second. The real thing which determines how slowly one of these methods run is you look at the hardest step of the method and ask how long does the computer take, how many of those hardest steps are there. Now, the answer is the hardest step is always the evaluation of the slope, the evaluation of the function. Because, you know, I, uh, the functions that are in common use are not x squared minus y squared. They take half a page and have as coefficients, you know, 10 decimal place numbers, whatever the uh, guy, the engineer is doing it, you know, whatever their accuracy was. <laughs>